Hey there everyone, it's Austin Bach coming to you once again from the Magic Online Beta Client and today they're actually running some uh, Kaladesh drafts so we get to try out the new draft format uh, take a little break from standard for a little bit I have never drafted this format I've only played pre-release so this should be interesting Rare is Bomat Courier which doesn't seem very good Nature's Way is a very solid green removal spell it's one of my front runners there's also a Pima Outrider, which I think honestly might even be better than the Nature's Way. Um, it's a little early to tell, but this seems to be one of the best commons in the set. Just a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four trample with some upside. Probably going to be better than most of the commons. Um, so I could easily see Nature's Way ending up being the best card. Like, a better card than Pima Outrider, but I, I'm, I think I'm going to... Take the 4-4, four, four, it just seems a lot stronger to me and more important for green. Uh, Die Young is also in this pack, but nothing else really standing out to me, so just take this strong green card. <clears throat> this pack doesn't look quite as strong. Narnum Cobra seems like a really good card to me. If you're in green, it's just a 2-mana Death Toucher, which seems pretty important in a world full of you know, giant vehicles that you need to take down somehow. Which is another reason why I didn't like the, the Nature's Way in the last pack. Sorcery speed removal seems much worse in the set than it might normally be. <clears throat> Hunt the Weak is also pretty good. Uh, but other than that, this pack looks kind of weak. Refurbish is medium. Take down just a sideboard card. Ardara Express might be, end up being good, but Crew 4 is pretty uh, prohibitive. I think I'm actually going to take this Narnum Cobra, just because there's nothing else really worth taking in the pack. Mm -hmm. I think it's better than Hunt the Week for sure. Mm -hmm. That one I'm much more sure of th about than the, the last pick. Yeah, I like Narnum Cobra. Hmm. I see a second Emerald mm -hmm. Bruiser. <clears throat> but here's a Revoke Privileges, mm -hmm. which is one of the better commons, possibly number one. Just a cheap removal spell. Um, it's a very solid card. Wispy for Angel is also pretty good. You can like trigger fabricate additional times or you know do other sweet things. Um, Emerald Bruiser is solid. This card is actually a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be. It looks really strong on paper, but there's a lot of fabricate in the set, so there's <clears throat> a lot more one one tokens running around than normal that can deal with this guy pretty efficiently, so I'm not crazy about him. Wallace Broker's fine, Prophetic Prism is fine, but I'll just take the solid removal spell, finally, after passing two other good ones. <clears throat> You'll notice there are only six people in our draft. It was kind of a, a weird number of people that showed up for the, uh, the scheduled event, so just something that happens in a, on the beta sometimes. Veteran Motorist, strong mm -hmm. card. There's another Pima Outrider, which looks like the front runner out of this pack. Salivating Gremlins can be pretty strong, but you're just working so hard to basically make a Pima Outrider. So, Fabrication Module. Um, I played against it, and it was actually a lot better than it looked, but uh, it's a little slow and clunky, and I don't know how good it's going to be in draft. And sealed, it did some work, but draft maybe not so much. And there's really nothing else. Mm -hmm. I guess the Propeller Pioneer is also pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's worse than the Outrider. So just keep taking solid uh, solid cards. I guess the one argument for taking the Nature's Way pack one would have been A, that mm -hmm. it's uncommon, and B, that it's mm -hmm. not a four drop. And I do value like not having too many expensive cards. So. Hopefully we don't get too clogged at four, but if they're all Pima Outriders, I don't mind that too much. Okay, take another Narnum Cobra here. Electrostatic Pummeler is the rare. It doesn't seem very good. It's okay if you have some pump spells or you care about energy or whatever, but it's kind of meh. I kind of like Eddie Trailhawk in green-white specifically because you can send your Pima Outriders to the sky or whatever. Um, but I guess in green-white you also don't have access to that much energy. But even getting two uses out of it is probably fine. Two Nimble Innovators is also interesting. I'm just going to take this Narnum Cobra, though. Green looks to be reasonably open. 
Servo exhibitions, kind of mediocre. Another Eddie Trailhawk, thriving Ibex. I do like the Ibex. Um, could take it here. Could look at another color. Either Trade Winds. It's okay, I guess, with Fabricate, but it's kind of mediocre. So it's the, basically like the Thriving Ibex or the Hawk or maybe the Blade Master. But Blade Master doesn't seem at its best in green blue. I think I'm going to try out the Eddie Tail Hawk. I think it's a worse card than Thriving Ibex, but given that we've already got some fours, and I want to try this card out, you know, see what happens. Ooh, Aviary Mechanic. I'm a huge fan of this card. It's just so unassuming, but it can do some really powerful things. You know, it comes down, it's just a 2-2 two, two for 2 if you need it. <clears throat> it can give a creature Pseudo Vigilance. It can reset a Enter the Battlefield ability. I like this card a lot. Is this our original pack? It's not. We've seen a lot of Emerald Bruisers and Refurbishes, haven't we? I mean, Refurbish getting back a Narnum Cobra isn't the worst thing in the world. Or I could just take a takedown for the sideboard. <clears throat> it's very unlikely I put this card in my deck, but maybe I end up with some absurd artifact. I don't know. Hmm, I guess I would have just gotten one back anyway, so. Uh, High Spire Artisan is probably fine. <clears throat> just a 1 4 reach. Is, you know, always a playable card, even if it's unexciting. Torch Gauntlet is okay also for aggressive. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on with these packs, but it seems like there's a lot of uh, repeats going on. Inspired Charge, probably not at its best in this deck. Don't think I'm playing Torch Gauntlet, but Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot I could take if I thought I cared about energy, but in green white we probably won't. I'll just take the Torch Gauntlet. Probably not play it, but you never know. <clears throat> so yeah, not knowing enough about this format, it's hard to say whether I'm happy with how this draft's going so far. Oh, I guess I <laughs> I just remembered that uh, there's only six people in the draft, so that was actually my original pack that I saw a little while ago. Mm -hmm. Huh, Dukara Scavenger and Nimble in Innovator, both solid cards still in the pack. Mm -hmm. Um... I guess I'll take the Innovator. Nothing for me here. Cure Seeker, Seeker Serpent does seem like a playable card. I've been messing around with it and constructed a little bit. It's probably going to be pretty fantastic and popular, I imagine. <coughs> Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. 4 mana, 2, 3. You cast your first spell. Hmm. Seems pretty strong. Experimental Aviator also pretty strong. Hmm. How likely would it be for me to play this rush me if I took it? We'd be giving up a revoke privileges, an aviary mechanic, and a hawk, which I don't really care about. We did take this nimble innovator earlier. You know what? Just cause we're we're playing on the beta, we're trying out the new cards. I'll take this rush me and most likely play it. Hadim, Console of Innovation. Mm. Huh. Seems also pretty strong. Um, kind of want you to have some more expensive artifacts. The only ones we have right mm. now are cost two mana, so... But, like... And it's also a four drop, which is kind of awkward. Um, but there's nothing else in the pack that's really catching my eye. I mean... Mm. This does seem like a good chance to try out some of the rares, so I'll just keep taking them. Um, so let's see about cutting some of these white cards. Transitioning into blue-green. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Snare Thopter, I don't want to take another 4-drop. Mm -hmm. Durable Handicraft, mm -hmm. seems a little awkward. Mm -hmm. Thriving Turtle, mm -hmm. kind of need to care about... Uh, whatever you call it, energy mm. to play this card, I think. Revolutionary rebuff doesn't seem mm. like where I want to be. I guess I'm just taking Riparian Tiger. Mm. Uh, I mm. like it a lot less than the Pima Outrider. It's mm. like a very similar mm. card, just for one more mana, and it doesn't mm. have any artifact upsides mm. or anything attached to it. But I guess I'll take it, because there's nothing else for me. 
Wild Wanderer is mm -hmm. solid card, but it's uh, another four drop. Could take Percata Pillar, Pillar Bug, even though I'm not black. Just to have a three mana artifact, because we do need some more expensive artifacts, but it doesn't seem great to me. Mm -hmm. You can take Aether Tra Trade Winds, which mm -hmm. kind of an expensive trick. We don't really have anything to combo with it right now. So, hmm. mm -hmm. Aetherborn Marauder is a very mm -hmm. strong card as well. I guess I'm just taking Ornamental Courage, which is a solid combat trick. Sometimes you can get people with it. Not thrilled about that pick, though. Shrewd Negotiation. Huh. What do we have that we can give our opponent? Just like servo tokens, I guess? There's another card that I really am not sure if it's any good or not, but <clears throat> seems like a good time to take it and find out, right? going to be focused on taking good artifacts basically. Mm -hmm. Blossoming defense, mm -hmm. solid trick. Mm -hmm. Another Narnum Cobra. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving your mm -hmm. opponent a, Narn a Narnum Cobra mm -hmm. isn't the best deal, mm -hmm. but if they don't have access to green, it doesn't seem like the worst thing. Mm -hmm. You're getting something, mm -hmm. something sweet for it. I just realized this can take creatures as well, so that's actually... Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll just take the Cobra. <clears throat> trying to think what cards I'm looking for here. We need some three drops, hopefully artifacts. You know, the the puzzle knots or whatever are not super appealing just because what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Innovator. Mm -hmm. Probably just take this Aether Theorist. Don't care a ton about um, energy, but it's a two mana scryfish, so. Yeah, again, I haven't taken a really hard look at the format yet, so I don't know exactly <clears throat> what the archetypes are trying to do, but clearly, you know, my rares are telling me, or at least one of my rares is telling me mm -hmm. to draft artifacts. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what this this is doing. So non land card converted mana cost less than that spells. Mm -hmm. Very fascinating card. Uh, this pack is kind of a dud for us. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just take a Creeping Mold mm -hmm. or Tezzeret's Ambition. Mm -hmm. I'll take the Ambition. I might end up playing it. Mm -hmm. I might play this Gear Seeker Serpent as well. 5-6, mm -hmm. I'd mm -hmm. be happy playing it for 5 mana. And we have a decent number of artifacts, so we can probably cast mm -hmm. it for that much. Mm -hmm. This is just like a game ender. You can use the secondary ability mm -hmm. to close out some games. Nothing great for me here. I'll just take a turtle and probably not play it. Also looking for some removal now. Now that we're not playing white, we don't have access to the revo revoke privileges. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of relying pretty hard on our Narnum mm -hmm. Cobras right now. I guess Ornamental Courage can ambush mm. something sometimes, but... Mm. And this Torch Gauntlet doesn't look mm. like it's going to be that great in our deck, because we're not really aggressive. So I'm not going to be looking to play that right now. So yeah, I guess we could use some uh, Aether tra Trade Winds at the very least. Okay, there's one as we speak. <clears throat> Malfunction's another card I could use, even though it costs four. Sound good. Um, but yeah, just some removal, some artifacts, pretty much all I'm looking for. I've got a pretty good solid core creature shell, so be looking to basically just fill our deck out in the next pack. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't think I want to play Metal mm -hmm. Spinner's Puzzle, Puzzle Knot when I can't activate it. We'll just take this Propeller Pioneer, which shouldn't still be in the pack, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This card actually seems pretty good to me. Now that, I, now that I look at it more, I didn't realize it can take your opponent's creatures, not just artifact creatures. Mm -hmm. Old Fast mm -hmm. Wingsmith is a four mm -hmm. drop, but it, you know, I don't know. We might play it at some point. Wily Bandar, not playing any of those. All right, so 
interesting start to the draft. Let's see if we can keep going for pack three.